We've all been through toxic relationships. Mentally drained, emotionally broken, and feeling deprived of happiness is always the result of these relationships, and they often leave you feeling empty and sad. Do you want to learn how to deal with toxic people and keep yourself safe from manipulation in the future? Well, if you do, then you're in the right place, because that's what we're going to talk about today. More of that in a second. Today, we're going to look at seven intelligent ways to deal with toxic people. Make sure you watch until number one, because it's one of the craziest things we've ever seen. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well, so you can stay updated with our latest videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Number seven, do not trust or share secrets with gossipers. If someone gossips about others to you, you can be sure they gossip about you to others. Never trust someone that doesn't respect others' privacy and breaks their trust just for the sake of gossiping. If they can break someone else's trust, they can break yours too, and you letting them in and trusting them with your secrets is just an accident waiting to happen. Limit the amount of people that know your secrets. Open up only with people that you know are good people. Never put someone that you don't completely trust in a position where they have power to hurt you. Backstabbers hurt the most because you never see it coming. Choose your friends wisely. Number six, avoid manipulative people. You fight with someone and feel hurt. You know in your heart that you're right and that they need to apologize. But when you go to talk to them, they make you feel like you're the one who's to blame and you're the one responsible for everything. If this is happening to you continuously, then I hate to break it to you, but you're being manipulated. Toxic people have a knack for knowing how to shift the blame and making you feel like you're the one who's responsible when clearly you're the victim. You go seeking an apology, but you're the one who ends up apologizing every time. This isn't because you're always wrong or always make the wrong choices. It's because toxic people know how to always make you feel that way. If this keeps happening to you in a relationship, try to distance yourself from that person and get some clarity as to what is really happening. If you feel like you might be being manipulated, then leave as soon as possible. Number five, never compromise on your personal space. Toxic people try to stay as close to the person they're manipulating as possible. This helps them keep a close eye on that person and lets them continuously feed that person information that supports their narrative. Every healthy relationship is based on trust and understanding. Someone that truly loves you and cares for you would never try to control you. If a relationship is making you feel suffocated, then it's probably not good for you. Talk to your partner about space and how you need some breathing room. Non-toxic people will have no problem with space. If someone keeps forcing you to spend time with them and disregard your mental health because they want attention, then it's time to reevaluate what you're doing. Number four, stay away from attention seekers. Attention seeking people are always bad news. They want someone to focus on them and give them time, irrespective of the other person's needs and wants. They want attention and they're gonna do whatever they can to make sure they get it. For a short while, they're gonna make you feel like the most important person in the world and the most important person in their life. Once you're hooked, they're going to completely drain you of your energy and happiness and they constantly make you feel guilty about not giving them everything they ask for. You can try your best and they'll still manage to find some subtle flaw and drag you down. They do this so you'll keep feeling guilty and keep giving them attention. Try to stay away from attention-seeking people. No matter how good it feels at the start, it's going to go downhill fast. And once it does, it gets ugly. Do everything you can to avoid that. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free. Number three, never trust a liar. A defining factor of toxic people is that they are compulsive liars. They will do mental gymnastics to keep you caught up in their lie and lie as many times as they need to keep you in their hold. If you find out that one of your friends has been lying to you, then don't let your guard down near them ever again. Friends and loved ones don't lie to each other. Lying is wrong and an absolute violation of your trust. Never trust a liar and never let yourself fall under the illusion that a liar has changed themselves just because they said so. People change, yes, and they do deserve second chances. But if you're going to just blindly trust someone who you caught lying in the past, then you're just fooling yourself. Always be careful when you're with people that you've caught lying or think are lying to you. Number two, put yourself first. You come first. You matter. You prioritizing your mental health because you feel drained and empty doesn't make you selfish. If you're not in the right mental space, you can't be there for anyone. In a healthy relationship, your friend and partner would recognize that and support you in taking time out for yourself and taking care of yourself. Toxic people, however, 
would stop you from doing this and insist that you putting yourself first and not blindly destroying your mental and physical health for them is selfish. This is one of the most toxic things someone can do. Toxic people simply don't let the other person take care of their mental health and take time out for themselves just because they feel that they're entitled to the other person's time and attention. Never stay in a relationship where you have to sacrifice your mental health and peace for the other person. Mental and emotional trauma is extremely difficult to get over. Don't let anyone hurt your emotional and mental well-being. Nobody is entitled to your time and attention more than you. Take care of yourself. You should always be at the top of your priority list. Number one, learn to say no. It's the weekend. You're tired and drained from the entire week and want to lay low and rest. Recharge your social battery and have fun by yourself. Your friend calls and tells you a story about how they're bored and want to hang out with you. You tell them you're not in the mood and drained, but they insist. You don't want to hang out. What do you do? Do you put yourself first or your friend? First of all, your friend should recognize that you need time for yourself and let you be by yourself. Secondly, if you're not in the right mental state, you need to learn to say no and put yourself first. Learning to say no is an important social skill and one of the best things you can do for your mental health. You can't always be available for people. And if someone makes you feel guilty for saying no when you know that you're just too down to go, they're not right for you. Good friends teach you to take care of yourself. Toxic people make you put them first. Learn to say no and learn to put yourself first. And if you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more.